What's going on everybody? It's your boy TX Boots, your daily open carrier. I just wanted to make a few videos on some rules and tips that I follow when I'm out and about open carrying to stay safe. Uh, rule number one would be get yourself a good holster. I haven't really tried too many holsters when I was concealed carrying before. I bought tons and tons of holsters. Uh, that's another main reason why I just started kind of open carrying. Um, I recommend a Safari Land uh, holster. Uh, level one, level two um, uh, retention, if possible, just to give yourself a little bit of an advantage if you're out and about and you know someone wants to get crazy with you. But I would say um, train, train with it, train with it, stay at home. Uh, if you can't make it to the range, I put in hundreds of hours at home just watching YouTube videos, um, gun videos, of course. Uh, but I would say train with your holster. Continue to train. I would say grab your gun your holster, make sure it's empty, you know, and just continue to draw with it, draw with it, draw with it, draw with it until you're sore and you cannot do it no more and you're just familiar with the feel without even looking at it. So again, you don't always have to go to the range to practice. But with that being said, just do hundreds of hours at home. Get used to it. Get used to the way you like your holster. Get used to where, uh, the way you like the way it feels on the side of your body. And just get used to it. I have a 6395 Safari Land holster with an ALS guard. It's a level 2 retention duty holster. Uh, and that's what I rock with when I'm out and about. Uh, but other than that, man, lots of training. Um, when you're out there open carrying, just be, uh, uh, be confident, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, we are the, um, the ambassadors for the Second Amendment, so be on your best behavior, but at the same time, not everybody deserves respect, and uh, don't trust everybody. Just make sure you watch everybody. Uh, protect your gun at all times. Peace out.